Good day everybody. Welcome to the Garmin Phoenix 7 Pro tutorial series. In this video, I will assume you know the basic functionality of the watch and know how to access all the relevant menus. If you are unfamiliar with the watch controls, please go to the overview video first. You can either click on the card at the top right or follow the link in the description below. Now on to the topic at hand. Today I want to talk about Garmin Explore and how to use that to navigate with your watch to certain points. The nice thing about Garmin Explore is that you do not need to be online to be able to use it as the uh, maps are downloaded onto your phone in Garmin Explore and the maps are also obviously downloaded on your watch. So they are natively on your devices. There's three ways to navigate with Garmin Explore. You can either choose a point of interest or you can choose a address. Now those two items, if you want to search for that, you're going to need to be online with your phone at least. Um, then there's a third way where you can just click on a point and navigate to that point. You do not need to be online for that to work. Let's first see if we want to navigate to a point of interest. So we're going to click on the search button at the top right. And then we are going to search the place we want to go to. Let's say we want to go to the Holiday Inn. You will see as I typed, some suggestions came up at the bottom. So I can click on the Holiday Inn at that point and it will show me exactly where the Holiday Inn is. If I zoom out, I will be able to see where I am. So the Holiday Inn is quite a way off south of me. Here at the bottom, there is some um, extra info regarding the place you search for. But what we are interested in is to go there. So you can see that orange go button. If I click that, then you will see my watch face will change automatically. My watch face will, will go to the activities and app menu where you can choose an activity on how you want to reach your destination. So because that's quite far off, we're going to use the bike. So you're going to go to the bike activity and press the start button to select that. And then you're going to have to wait for GPS. Now I am sitting in my room, so it might take a while for GPS to, to get locked on. So let's just wait a few seconds. Okay, once GPS is locked on, you can go to the map screen, if you have a map screen set up for that activity and you will be able to see on the map exactly how to get to where you want to be. So you will see on the map, it's got a indication on the road you need to take. So let's just scroll a bit so you can see it shows me exactly where to ride my bike to get to my destination. It will also show me the um, where to turn and when to turn. So you can then switch off your phone and put it in your pocket or you can even leave it at home and then just use your watch to navigate to the destination you choose. Second thing we can do is we can search for an address. So let's just cancel that. Just remember to press start now. So press start to start this activity and then you will can, then you can go back, back, go back to your map screen and navigate with your watch as the map screen will should stay on the whole time. So let's just cancel this activity. Next one, we want to search for a, a address. So let's search for, let's say 896 Weyafar Avenue. You can see I have searched it before. The suggestion comes up. We search that, we can check is that where we actually want to be? Yes, it is. Again, we're going to press the go button. But because it's not that far off, we want to run there this time. So I'm going to choose run normal. And then we're going to have to wait for GPS to connect again. Once GPS has connected, you can go and see at your watch, your map screen. It will calculate your route for you. And there is the route now on our watch. 
Okay, the nice thing about this navigation is that if you go off route, then the route will be recalculated on your watch to get to where you want to be. Um, then the last one that we can use is just to click on a point to navigate there. And I want to show you how it works, that it works offline. So if I switch off my Wi-Fi and I switch off my mobile data, I can go back into Explore. Now what will happen is I will not be able to search for points of interest because as you can see, you need to connect to the internet to search for that. But I can zoom out and I can choose manually a place I want to go to. So let's say I want to go to the city center. I know I want to go to this junction. I can click on that, still select go. This time we're going to take our bike again. Well, let's take, let's run there again, but this time with maximum accuracy. So maybe the GPS gets a bit, gets locked on a bit quicker. Okay, now we can go to our map screen again and we will see it's calculating. There you go. It has calculated the route for us again. At this stage, again, you can switch off your phone, put it in your pocket, um, or just you know close your phone. You can leave it at home and just use your watch to go to that point of interest or that point that you actually selected. Just remember to press start to actually start the activity. Otherwise, your watch will switch off from the map in a couple of minutes, dependent on some of your settings. Okay. So that is how you use Garmin Explore to navigate with your watch using your various activities. Thanks for watching.